I could not contain myself. It moved me as a scientist, an engineer, and as a human. That's how NASA's Deputy Administrator, Pamela Melroy, described seeing some of the new images from the James Webb Space Telescope. The first full color, full glory shots from Webb are due to be released on July 12th, 2022. And here, I have a sneak peek of what we can expect on that day. The web team haven't released the full list of the exact objects they'll have images of on the 12th of July, but included in the release will be, and I quote, the deepest image ever of our universe. They say that with the Webb telescope, it's hard not to break records for the most distant, highest resolution and faintest objects they image. And this record will not last long before Webb itself smashes it again. Just to be clear though, these images aren't actually released at the time of this video, so I can't show you any of them just yet. Instead, JWST has released images that they use to calibrate the mirrors, and I have videos covering those images, links in the description. But the commissioning process is now tailing off, and science observations have officially begun, with the very first one taking place on the solstice. That's June 21st, 2022. It's time to reveal the infrared universe in unprecedented resolution and embark on a new shared journey of discovery ahead of us. The questions I'll try to answer here are, what images are we likely to see? How did they choose those targets? Are any of them done already? And has anyone seen them? And what happens after all of these come out? I'll leave timestamps below, so feel free to skip around if you want, but make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss videos covering the images once they actually come out. Let's start with what images are gonna come out on the 12th of July, 2022. We're basically gonna get a selection of images and spectra. That's light broken down into different wavelengths. And that tells us about the chemical elements that make up an object. And this selection will show the full range of Webb's capabilities. We'll probably see something from each instrument on board and we'll see things that just plain look incredible. This release is meant to show off how great Webb is, so these all should be really, really beautiful and finally rival the Hubble images. There should be something that corresponds to each science goal of Webb 2. So expect something from the early universe, some early galaxies, information about the birth and death of stars and galaxies, and the study of exoplanets too. We've had confirmation that they will release Webb's first ever spectra of an exoplanet atmosphere too, so we're definitely gonna learn about alien worlds pretty soon. This spectrum will let us study the atmosphere of the exoplanet to see if it could be similar to our own and answer the question of whether it could support life. Apparently, this is a known exoplanet, so there's images and information about it already out there, but none of us know which exoplanet it is, so good luck finding it. Webb will be especially good at this because lots of biomarkers for life, like CO2 and ozone and more, are especially visible in the infrared, and that's the exact type of light that JWST can see. As I said, we're also getting the deepest ever image of the universe. It's not clear if that'll be a single object or an ultra deep field to compare with Hubble. I'm hoping for the latter, but I don't know if that's gonna take longer than Webb has been operating for. But if we don't get it now, then we'll see it very soon. I think most of the reason they haven't yet released a complete object of what's gonna be revealed is that they're still taking that data and all of it could change. Apparently, they haven't actually ruled out releasing one of these lists beforehand, but this isn't confirmed, so it's not happening just yet and it might not happen at all. A handful of the images have already been taken, and some have even been seen by the teams involved and the high ups in NASA, ESA, and the CSA, but the rest are still waiting to be done. Some of the images use multiple instruments on board the telescopes, so they might be partly taken too, with the rest of the observations to be completed in the coming days. But luckily, some amazing science is already in the can. They're gonna end up with between 10 and 20 images in spectra, and some subset of those will be released to us. The set that are released could change between now and the 12th, and actually some won't even be imaged until a couple of days before release. So that release pack could change pretty much until the moment we see it. About 120 hours of observation time will go into the images we see then, and within a week or so, Webb will have doubled the amount of time it's been observing. And over the days and weeks after that, more and more images will spill out into the public eye. The next question is how did they choose the targets that are gonna be shot first? Well, they went for a bottom-up approach, where a bit over a year ago, the teams involved in Webb constructed a list of priority targets to be imaged. About 70 objects were identified, because at the time they made this list, they didn't know exactly when the telescope would launch. Since it can't see everything all the time, once the launch was confirmed, the teams went down the priorities and just picked the ones that Webb could see, well, 
now. They did take some care not to undercut too much of the science planned for the first year as well. And they also deliberately picked things that combine good science with good pictures. So ideally ones with good structure and good colours. And good science and good pictures aren't always the same thing. The web leadership then just said, yeah, that's great. And that's exactly how they chose the images. Interestingly, these images actually won't be studied in huge scientific detail before they're released. But the next day, July 13th, all of the data used to make them will be publicly released, and scientists can analyse them to their heart's content. They can immediately start doing science with that data, working out things like the redshifts of all of the objects, and we can expect papers to be released, probably within hours of the data being dumped. Once all of it's out though, what's next for Webb? Well, the door to seeing humanity's new view of the cosmos is well and truly open now. JWST's commissioning is almost done. The first science images will be out, and then it's time to start what's called the Early Release Science Program. These are all of the proposals that scientists around the world submitted, and the successful ones will be performed in the first year or so of Webb's operation. After a while, submissions will reopen for new ideas or follow-ups to the things we've already learned. The most exciting things are probably the things we don't even know we're going to discover yet. You can actually read all of the successful early science missions online, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can see for yourself what's most exciting to you. There are four categories here, but they'll all be done within the first 10,000 hours or so of operation. So take a look and let me know below what the coolest ones you find are. These programs are separate to the first images we're getting in July, and some of them are much longer and much harder to do. Example programs include studying Jupiter and studying its moons too. So know that if we don't get anything from our solar system in the first batch of images, it won't be long until we see something from our cosmic neighbours. Some discoveries will happen very quickly, and some will take more time. The first images will be spectacular, but the discoveries over the next year and more will be the most incredible things. Finally, almost as an aside, we had confirmation that orbit insertion of Webb was so good that it will definitely operate for 20 years. This is awesome news, and it gives even more time for follow-up observations for the things we learn and couldn't possibly plan for. Remember, these aren't just images, they're a new worldview. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!